I typically am somebody who doesn't like talking about referees. In my opinion, it all comes out in the wash for the most part. The yes. game, the, the calls that go against you, you're going to get them a little bit later. We'll talk about that as it relates to one team a little bit later in this show that played yesterday. That though, that two call stretch at the end of that Washington game is a season season defining yep. stretch of plays. The no call on the pass interference at the end where he's just climbing on him, and then the call on the illegal formation, which you saw he asked the referee Terry McLaurin did twice if he was in the right spot and yep. got no indication. None. You're supposed to give a the ref is supposed to give a thumbs up or a hand, and it's like every every receiver is taught that since high school and i know college yeah. oh in the nfl definitely and they it's such a classic like because usually when they point and the, if they are off the ref will go hey hey and like yell to them and like tell them like hey scooch up he some i got some people because uh, i tweeted the clips because i'm just losing my mind on this uh the ref also he also botched the heineke at uh inbounds or out of bounds at the end of the play too so i don't know what and they had to re figure out the curtis samuel inbounds or out of bounds it yes. took them five minutes to figure same that guy. out okay same the sideline was just vibes at the end of this at the yes, end of that game it was, it was like, just yeah, hanging out we'll it. figure it yeah. out yeah we're, we're in december we're it's holiday season and <laughs> and you can see like he he doesn't give a point and someone like people are replying to me it's like hey it's not his job it's like no it's literally his job to tell <laughs> him if he's on or off if they yeah. ask they have to give you an indicator. That's what blows my mind. And then on top of it, he's quit. He's about to pull, throw the uh, the flag as the play is about to start. Like he he was like, I'm not saying anything, and I'm about to whip this flag out. He couldn't wait to get that flag out. And that's just one ref thing to happen today. I know we're going to talk about this game, but there's also there was also the uh, the Cole touchdown for the Raiders where they reviewed it and it looked like his foot was out of bounds. That one was strange. And then they confirmed it on top of it. They didn't even say it stand. They, they, they stood. They confirmed it. And then the Chiefs. Had like a or a fumble, a Juju Smith Schuster fumble, where they like rule, ruled forward progress, and then like he sat on the ball, and they said it was a clear recovery. Like there's a lot of like hoops jumping through, and then on top of it, I tweeted this one too. Was that there's a, a call in the Jets game was in a two minute drill at the end of the game when the Jets were going for the win or the tie, and uh, they just give the first down without like a yard short. The guy just starts waving on the sticks. The refs had a banner day. I mean, the NFL had a banner day. Not even talking about yesterday. When they had there were multiple fumbles in the in the Vikings game that seemed like the play should have kept going or there were clear oh, yeah. recoveries and they wiped touchdowns off the board twice. Yes, two of them. Oh my god, that's right. Oh, I know. It's yeah, so great weekend. You know, at least it's it's not first week jitters for the refs either. Uh, so but no, so that was that and honestly on top of it, and this is I'm I totally agree with you. Over time, uh, I've been fortunate enough to be a fan of multiple teams in my lifetime, either through my dad or myself. And Usually I'm kind of like every fan base thinks the refs are against them. So I kind of laugh at it at this point in time. I still like complaining about refs, oh, but yeah, it's, obviously. It, yeah, yeah, but it's, it, it, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a similar cut from the same cloth thinking that it's like, oh, it evens out over time. Although there is a study that if you wear black uniforms, that refs will call more flags against you. That the Raiders had, historically have had more flags yeah, called against them than all. I will, team. I will say when I was with the Raiders, there was a little bit where I was like, Hey, what? What's going on here? And then on the flip side, when I was with Wisconsin, I felt like we got a lot. We got away with a lot. <laughs> when I, was with, I was with Wisconsin. I think Barry, Barry Alvarez uh, knew how to slip the refs a couple of dollars. <laughs>